Greetings, YouTube. Welcome to the Daily Dog Blog. Today, me and my cool dog is going to listen to Jim Cornette. And Jim Cornette's going to tell y'all about something real important. He's going to tell you about butt drugs. Before we get out of here, I did have uh, another story. I'm going to go to this first. We do have breaking news. We'll get to that in a second. Uh-oh. But, Jim, this was tweeted to us on Twitter using the hashtag corny drive through from Christopher Bennett. Could Jim please comment on this disastrous moment in the history of our great city? I have a tweet here from Louisville Business First. Iconic Louisville area business closing after 71 years. But drugs. Oh, yeah. and here's a quote. I've had so many people like, why don't you just leave it open and make it an ice cream store? But that's not what put butt drugs on the map. It really isn't. What can you tell me about butt drugs? Well, it's it's not actually in Louisville. It's a suburb of Louisville. It's over in southern Indiana, out in Corden. And it's been there, as they said, for 70-something years. And the family that, I think the grandfather is the one. There's been some news stories on the closing recently here on the local news. The grandfather's name was Butt, B-U-T-T. And old Mr. Butt started this drugstore, and it's in a little small town. It's on like the, you know, Main Street. Of, you can imagine what the small town in the 50s main street southern indiana looked like and they had a soda fountain and an ice cream fountain but they also had like the old time small town drug stores you get your medicine and your prescriptions you get ice cream snacks you know some grocery items and they leaned into the the whole butt drugs thing they would sell t-shirts you know and and uh, you know, their uh, milkshakes were called butt shakes, and they had, like, multiple flavors of butt <laughs> shakes. Nothing like a good butt shake on a hot afternoon in the summertime. And so, and now people are sad that the old place is going away. But the, uh, the granddaughter, I guess, was saying that, you know, the small mom-and-pop operations can't, uh, you know, make it anymore with the modern medical... You know, the Medicare reimbursements and the big chain drug stores and everything. So they made the unfortunate decision to close down. I guess now it makes a little more sense why people are saying you should stay open and do ice cream. Cause they yeah, cause everybody issues. loves that. They don't necessarily like going over there to get, you know, remedies for their fucking crotch rot, but they love going to get a butt shake. That was hilarious. Don't y'all agree? Thanks for joining us here on the Daily Dog Blog for my cool dog. Just stuff like that. Oh, God. And we get to hear a cool story. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the silly little bell for the cool dog. And until next time, like every ditch.